Today's video is all about setting up the new band saw. This is definitely a two person job. Solo job. Easy. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, everyone loves a flat pack, hey? Especially when it weighs this much. We got it done. It's definitely a two-person job, so ignore this video and find yourself a mate. But like most things, I struggle on and I managed to get it sorted. Now the first timber to hit the saw were these old logs out the firewood pile. Uh, laburnum and it's a diseased tree I took down for firewood but it's just too good to waste. So I've squirreled a few of them away for future projects. And this is really what this bandsaw is all about. I've had questions in the past week saying why bother with a bandsaw when you've got a table saw and a track saw. But really, there's not much you can do when it comes to resawing tall boards uh, to do bookmatch panels or to resaw small logs like this. There's no real safe way of doing that uh, in large quantities, at least, on those type of saws. So this bandsaw comes into its own there. And the first job to see through this saw uh, in the next couple of weeks is going to be the curved oak braces. And they will definitely, well, there's not many alternatives um, to, to cutting those than using a bandsaw. So that is it. It's set up. And as you can see with this wheel kit, it really does uh, spin on the spot and you can tuck it away. And if you're a small workshop like ours, then really you've got to get a wheel kit of some form whether you make it yourself or buy one of the ones that can be supplied but there we go i've got a few projects already in the pipeline for this one but as i said the first one will be the green oak beams which i need to pick up tomorrow but it's all happening here lots coming up over the next week so make sure you're subscribed thanks for watching and remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time